Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to the Musa Minin Season 3 Week 6 Team Builder for the Competitive Pokemon Association. With me, the coach of the Musa Minin, Sarslight. This week we prepare for battle against the Long Beach Lombres and their coach, J. So Cool. Yeah. As per usual, around about now, if not a little bit later, the draft should be showing up on your screen. Again, there are differences between the actual drafts and what is showing up on screen. What's showing up on screen, the changes for our draft, is we don't have Magearna, instead we have Jirachi. We don't have uh, Mega Banette, we have Mega Charizard Y. And we don't have Hoopa, we have Tropius. As for our opponent's team, they no longer have Copagrigus, instead they have Yan Mega. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the team. Starting us off here, we have the Avatar, our Jirachi. As per usual, running a physical Choice Scarf set. Not shiny, with Serene Grace, with Iron Head. This time Thunder Punch, like we... Four, heart stamp, like week five, and this and drain punch for just a little bit rec of recovery, just in case we need it. Of course, you need to swap out, but it happens. I will admit, I toyed with the idea of putting um, what's it called, uh, U-turn, just um, in case something decided to. Swap in on us, like immediately. We could swap back out, just scout, you know, for scouting. But it. U turn doesn't do anything to his team, so there was literally no point in having it. I basically just have coverage. We have Iron Head here for them flinches, plus to hit um, Clef Fable and Kyurem. Uh, Thunder Punch to hit Suicune, uh, Swellow, t and Tentacle. Heart Stamp to hit Tentacruel, um, Roserade, and also Flinches, plus it's a Psychic type move, so Stab, and Drain Punch for Recovery and smacking up that Kieran. Jirachi isn't really built to deal with, uh, you know, the Mega Metagross. Also, yeah, and Thunder Punches to do uh, also deals with, um, yeah, Mega. Sorry, I'm looking at the draft and I almost forgot they had Yam yeah, Mega instead of Cofagrigus. <laughs> Again, or at least what's here, my mistake. Um, next up, we have Blair, our shiny male Charizard. Holding the Charizard on Y with the ability Blaze, although that doesn't matter because first turn Mega is a thing. Uh, it's actually a rule. Um, knowing Flamethrower, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Roost. And I just realized I forgot to show you the spread on the avatar, which is max speed, max attack, jolly nature, with a little bit of special defense. It really doesn't matter if you run a little bit in defense, special defense, or HP, so I just ran special defense because that's what it suggested. I decided to go with jolly because there are two Pokemon on his team that could outspeed Jirachi if they decided to come in and attack. However, the chances of that happening... Sorry, three Pokemon. However, the chances of that happening... Four, four Pokemon, my god. Uh, chances of happening are quite low. But if they do come in, we at least can get... We, we can swap out before they... We can either hit them, or we can swap out. In the case of one of them, it's, de the, it's definitely better to... For It's flight is definitely better than fight. Um, the other three... Are... Well, one of them we can hit, um, but we can hit most of them, it's just hopefully we're not already locked into something. Anyways, back to Blair, like I said, Flamethrower, Air Slash, Summer Beam, Roost, the like uh, his week 4 counterpart, when you appeared in week 4. Uh, max speed, max special attack, with a little bit of special defense, timid nature. Just really here to nuke down anything that gets in the way. Um, Solar Beam to deal with uh, Suicune and 
well actually that's all Solar Beam deals with, but it's also a powerful move and with Drought it's one turn. Air Slash for really just for flinches, but it's a high damage move so it's definitely good to have. And Flamethrower, oh yeah also Air Slash Stab, Flamethrower for Stab which will also hit Roserade, Mega Metagross, Yan Mega, uh, yeah, and Yan Mega for super effective damage. So. Definitely good moves. Roost in case it's needed, you know, just a bit of recovery. Um, especially if, if they bring out, say, Jolteon against him, we can... Well, I would say we can roost off, but we really can't. Jolteon will easily outspeed unless it's not... But even I think even if it's Scarfed. Even if it's not Scarfed, I should say, because Jolteon is very fast. So, but, yeah, basically we can roost off if we're expecting, like, say, a Water-type move. No. Sorry, if we're expecting an Electric-type move or a rock type move so we take less damage uh, next up we have sun's gift our shiny maltropius holding the starf berry with the ability harvest or you know that continual battery cycle knowing giga drain uh, stab and recovery air slash stab and flinches defog just in case we need to get rid of any hazards and Earthquake, for if we manage to get set up to deal with a few of his Pokemon. Uh, Earthquake mostly to deal with Mega Metagross, Tentacruel, and Jol Jolteon and Victini. Which if he gets set up, it will easily deal with them. So hopefully. Uh, the spread on Sun's Gift is max HP, split defenses. So he has the same defense stat. 188 in defense and, 80, and 68 in special defense with a sassy nature, increasing his special defense, lowering his speed. He doesn't need speed uh, to be boosted because if this goes off the way I think, I hope it's going to, he'll have plus six and everything, so it's not as important. Next up on the list we have Haruki, our female non shiny Arcanine. This time holding the Zoom Lens. Odd choice, you're probably thinking, but uh, max health, max special defense, Arcanine, with moves that don't have 100% accuracy. So, because we're going second anyways, or we, we, I assume we'll be going second, may as well go for the extra accuracy off of the Zoom Lens. Has Intimidate, knowing Will-O-Wisp, Rest, Snore, and snarl. The uh, is that the, the I think that's the set I brought on the first week. It might not be exact, but it's close with the spread of max uh, max HP, max special defense, calm nature with a little bit in speed. I still don't think we'd be out speeding much, so yeah. Following her, we have whoa <laughs> our shiny Kira in black holding the Steelium Z. Uh, with Terra Volt, uh, running a bulky set this time with Rest, Sleep Talk, Steel Wing, Dragon Tail, the same set we ran against uh, the Boston Salabies in week three. He worked well there, I thought we'd give him another chance, it might catch our opponent off guard. And they'll see Kieran Black and think that thing's scarfed, I better run. Nope, he's bulky. But yeah, Steelium Z uh, hits hard with that, also that gives Steelwing gives him something to hit Clefable with, because Clefable's the biggest threat to him since it is a... The biggest threats to him are Clefable and Kyurem, since they both get st stab super effective moves on him. Steelwing lets him hit both for super for super effective damage. Uh, I mean, Dragon Tail lets him hit Kyurem for super effective damage anyways, but Steelwing's just a good coverage move. Um, the spread on the Whoa, or Whoa, is... Max HP, uh, 64 defense, 192 special defense, so he has... I don't know why he has much higher special defense than physical. I think it, oh yeah, no, I gave him extra special defense because um, Kyurem is more special attacker and Clefable is a special attacker, so want the special defense to deal with both of those. As for the Adamant Nature, um, Basically 413 attack uh, just through having an adamant nature. That's it. His base stats are insane. 170 attack. It's it's brilliant. And last but not least, 
leading off the, the our last member of our team joining us for this match, uh, we have Modest, a Heliosk, this time uh, holding the Life Orb with the ability Solar Power, knowing Dark Pulse to deal with that pesky Victini, um, Hyper Voice for Normal Stab, Thunderbolt for Electric Stab to help deal with Suicune, uh, Swellow, Yamega, Tentacruel, and then Hidden Power Poison to hit the Clefable. I realize I don't... Well, and, oh, I also Dark Pulse hits the Dust Clops in case he brings that. Uh, solar Power and Life Orb in the Sun will give him... I think it's a... Uh, solar Power is 1.3 times as well, isn't it? No, 1.5 times, so he'll get like, essentially an almost uh, 2 times boost to his damage because those two those two together while losing a little bit of HP running a max speed max special attack uh, build with timid nature and a little bit in special defense so yeah that is the team that we will be taking on the Long Beach Lombres and Jaso Cool with in week 6 let's hope this goes well Hopefully bringing the bulky um, Kieran Black will sort of catch him off guard. Because anyone who sees Kieran Black coming to a fight kind of expects it to be scarfed um, into special moves, honestly. Because it has high special attack and it doesn't get physical ice stab. Um, but I'm running the bulky one because it serves me better against him. I mean, that met, uh, anything that comes in against it, he, it can eat a hit from anything except from probably Meta Metagross, Mega Metagross, and if something tries to set up on it, you can just Dragon Tail it out. And of course he has the Steelium Z, which he can use to hit something that he needs to get rid of with a Corkscrew Crash, which from Woe is going to hit really, really hard, as we saw in Week 3 against the Boston Celebes, um, Azelf. That was it. it, was the Azelf we took out with that. Anyways, that's the team builder. That's the team. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow with the Week 6 battle. Bye bye for now.